Hi everyone, myself Christy Vagis. I am working in different CSER net institutes in India. I run my, my own classes in New Delhi and I also run online classes for CSER net general aptitude. It's indeed an honor to get this award, 100 inspiring authors of India. I like to thank Indian Awards for recognizing me and my books. I like to dedicate this award to my family, my students, my friends and all who supported me. I have written two books on general aptitude. My first book is titled CSAR Net General Aptitude and New Outlook and my second book is titled CSAR Net Bhagi. This is my first book. This is the fifth edition of the book. This is currently the bestseller book for general aptitude preparation. Now, I am in the work for a third book, which is actually on a, a book on Vedic Mathematics and Mental Mathematics. As part of my research for this book, I have gone through different mathematical systems which can reduce arithmetic time of our calculation. So today I will discuss some of those techniques with you which can be used for any competitive exam and which can be used to change your perspective about mathematics. Let's start with addition. For example, how you add numbers. Let's take a simple example 58 plus 23. 58 plus 23 means <coughs> first you will write 8 plus 3 then 5 plus 2 plus the carry 1 from 8 plus 3 11 and you will get the answer. But that is too much mathematical. If you think logically you can do without pen and paper. For example 58 plus 23 you can see that I have 58 mangoes with me and my friend have 23 mangoes with him. If I am taking his 23 mangoes, I am like 58 plus 23 addition. 58 mangoes plus 23 mangoes, I will see it from left to right like this. 58 plus 20 plus 3. 58 plus 20 is 78 plus 3 is 81. That is instead of reading numbers from right to left, if you read it from left to right, you can do addition or subtraction or multiplication or division very easily. <coughs> Sorry. Another example, 49 plus 34. 49 plus 34, if you see it as 49 plus 30 plus 4. 49 plus 30 will be 79 plus 4 will be 83. Let's go for higher numbers. For example, 456 plus 123. 456 plus 123, I have 456 mangoes. If you have 123 mangoes, I can think like 456 mangoes plus 120 and 3 mangoes I am adding. 456 plus 100 will be 556. Plus 20 will be 576. Plus 3 will be 579. That is, you can do this calculation very easily in the mind without using any pen or paper. You can extend this to 4 digit number, 5 digit number or any number of digits. Not only for addition, you can do the same for subtraction also because subtraction is almost same as addition. It is actually negative addition. For example, 63 minus 15, let's take. If I have 63 mangoes, if 15 mangoes of it is rotten mangoes, if I want to remove those 15 mangoes, I can think like from 63, I am reducing 15. That is, I am removing 10 and then 5. 63 minus 10 is 53. 53 minus 5 is 48. Let's take one more example. 96 minus 33. 96 minus 30 is 30, 66. Minus 3 is 63. Yeah, two digit numbers seems very simple. Let's go for three digit numbers then. Let's take the example of 456 and 123 itself. If I want to subtract 456 minus 123, I can think like I have 456 mangoes. I have to reduce 123 mangoes, that is 120 and 3 mangoes from it. 456 minus 100 is 356. 
minus 20 is 336, minus 3 is 333s. That is how you are looking at numbers. That determines how early you can do any arithmetic. I just took the example of addition and subtraction because that can be explained easily without any presentation or anything. Based on the simple addition and subtraction, you can do multiplication or division of any big number. For example, 123. For example, 123 into 4. You can just think like 123 into 4. That is 100 into 4, 20 into 4 plus 3 into 4. Adding that will be the answer. As I don't have much time, I'm not going to multiplication. Let's take another simple example of multiplication of a special case. For example, how to multiply a number with 11. What in this Vedic math or Mendel math, how it is done, we will discuss. It's a very famous method. For example, 13 into 11. 13 into 11, it will be 143. What I just did is, 13 is 1 and 3. Just in between 1 and 3, sandwich the sum of 1 and 3. That is 1 plus 3, 4 should be written in between 1 and 3. So, 1, 4, 3 will be the answer. Let's take another example. 23 into 11. 2 and 3, in between, you have to put 2 plus 3, 5. So, 253 will be 23 into 11. 24 into 11. 2 and 4, in between if you put 6, that is 2 plus 4, 6. 2, 6, 4 will be 24 into 11. If it is 25 into 11, it will be 275. Because 2 plus 5, 7 will be written in between 2 and 5. Now, let's take an example of 72. 72 into 11 will be in between 7 and 2, you can write 7 plus 2, 9. So, 7, 92 will be 72 into 11. You can take examples. Even for 3 digit numbers, you can work it out. But there, the sum will be 2 pairs of sum. That is the only difference. For example, 98 into 11, it will be 9, 8 in between 9 plus 8, 17. But the carry should be added to the next number. But I am leaving that for the time being. Let's take another example of squaring. How squaring is done in Vedic Mathematics. Let's take a simple example of numbers ending in 5. Numbers ending in 5, it is very easy to square. For example, 25 square, 35 square, 45 square. 25 square means 2 and 5. 2, 5 square. Any number ending in 5, the square will end in 25. That is, the last two numbers will be 25. Before that, you just have to write 2 into 3, 6. 6, 25. Yeah, 25 square, most of us know it is 6, 25. But what I did here is, 2 into 3, 6, 25. 6, 25. This will work for 35 square. 3 into 4, 12, 25. 12, 25 will be 35 square. 45 square will be 4 into 5, 20. 25. 2025 will be 35 square. Sorry, 45 square. 55 square will be 5 into 6, 30, 25. That is 3025 will be the answer. 65 square will be 6 into 7, 42, 25. That is the number, first number into first number plus 1, 25. 95 square, 9 into 10. 90, 25. Even for 105 square, 105 square. 10 into 11, 110, 25 will be the answer. 1005 square. 1005 square means 100 followed by 5 square. 100 into 101. 101, 0, 0, 25. So that is how squaring is done. I just took the took four simple examples of addition, subtraction, multiplication with leaven and squaring. Like this, there are enormous methods in Vedic mathematics and Mendel mathematics to simplify your arithmetic skills. I hope that my upcoming book will be an aid to the students to learn all those methods and to change their perspective about mathematics. 
I sincerely feel that if the school students, <coughs> these kinds of systems can be implemented, their attitude towards or their perspective towards mathematics will change a lot and they will start loving mathematics. So I am not extending my talk long. Let me conclude my speech. <coughs> I want to again thank Indian Awas for giving me this opportunity for going live on Facebook. Unfortunately, I couldn't attend the award function which was conducted last week. So I, I like to thank Indian Awas for giving me this opportunity to talk with my readers and my students <coughs> on this topic. I also like to <coughs> congratulate all other winners of this award <coughs> for winning this prestigious award. So thank you all. Have a great evening. Enjoy the night. Take care. Bye-bye.